So in this video, we got another 2007 cluster. Uh, this was a failed user repair. Uh, so he replaced the MOSFET and the resistor. When plugged back in, it smoked and apparently damaged components at positions D2, R96, R97, and the new MOSFET. All right, so let's open it up, see if we can find out what's going on and why it went up in smoke. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna power it up. I will take his word for it that it went up in smoke. That's a little tight there. <clears throat> so yeah, this is gonna be another uh, vacuum fluorescent display MOSFET issue. Looks like we got some flux, flux all over there. I can clean that up. All right, let's get down in here. So, oh, yeah, okay. So, besides a hole in the new MOSFET, like he mentioned, so these must be the uh, R96 and R97 under there that he mentioned. Yeah, R96, R97. Okay, so we can see two burnt up resistors. The foil is looking a little rough under there, too. And then he also said, ah, oh, the diode D2. So, this guy right here. He definitely had some current passing through him. He wasn't happy at all. Hmm. All right. Oop, might even have some foil burn back here too. It started to, to lift. That's still connected, but I'll have to double check that. Hmm. They obviously had a short somewhere. I'm gonna pull these components off the board, start with that and uh, and go from there. All right, so I got the nasty components pulled. And of course, the pad with the most damage is the one that's the hardest to get to, which is under the corner of this display. We have one pad missing and a couple of pads that are lifted and loose. Uh, but what I want to do now is I'm going to power it up and see if the short is no longer there should power up okay. I've got my power supply set to a reasonable amount, about one and a half amps. Should be enough to power up the cluster, but not so much that it blows up parts if something is wrong. So I'm gonna power it up. Looks good so far. Of course, these are not gonna light up because it's missing half the components, but <clears throat> I just wanna confirm that the short is gone and we're only drawing, see if you can see the display there, 600 milliamps. So no more short circuit at least. It's not trying to burn itself down. So that's a start. Uh, next, I'm gonna try to just uh, put components back on and then, oops, that was me, and see uh, what we get.
All right, so I had to run a jumper that I wasn't able to get on camera. It just I had to hold it at such a funny angle to see there, but this extra unpopulated or now it's unpopulated resistor, there's two resistors side by side here. They're both zero ohms just in parallel, but there was like a uh, sense feedback foil that got damaged, so I had to run a jumper. But uh, let's just uh, power it up and see where we're at. All right, so the display should have came on by now. Um, it's not going up in smoke and flame, so that's good. The short circuit is gone, but I do see a faint, very faint display, but it's too... It's too dim. Um, I think what I would do next is that uh, the foil I had to replace, where there's lots of current going through it, feeds back to this driver chip. I'm going to assume that the driver chip was damaged in the process of things shorting out, so I'm going to replace that next. All right, let's see if that makes the display any brighter. No.
All right, so I got the displays back to normal brightness. So what was happening was the R96 and R97 that were all burnt up are the shunt resistors that sense the current of this power supply circuit to feed back to the driver chip. So it, that's how it monitors how much current is flowing and it knows how to regulate itself. So we should have a 57 volt rail here. And when it was dim, it was only at about uh, 20 volts. That's because my, my shunt resistor value was wrong. I ended up having to stack three of those 1R0 resistors to get uh, the voltage. Well, as close as I can get it while feeling still comfortable without overdriving it. So I'm actually only at 51 volts right now. Now a stock cluster that's untouched and unblown up is about 57 volts. But I'm going to leave this at 52. I'm going to underdrive it a little bit to hopefully give this MOSFET a fighting chance at life. Um, so I'm going to just let it uh, sit and burn in for a while and reassemble. Well, the cluster survived the burn-in process, so this one's done. Thanks for watching.